Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Reaper Soul Revival, I think it's the name. <laughs> it's the knockoff Bleach game. Hey, we're moving from knockoff uh, <laughs> Naruto game to a Bleach one. Yes, alright, so this episode, I w uh, episode, this video I wanted to go through like roughly what I would recommend as a new player. Uh, so first off, if you, if you do get a chance, go for Ulkiora. Uh, he seems to be a very, very, very solid unit. Uh, just as a damage dealer, as a uh, early uh, early game damage dealer, he seems to be doing amazing. Okay, so let's see. I don't really can't really show much since I don't really have a comp comparison type person that I can versus I'd say there might be William uh, Dira William Stua there was one but I th I guess he there it is there so I am uh, roughly 400,000 CP more than him I think but uh, as you can see, Ulkira is almost double the damage of Jin, so he is uh, overwhelmingly good, <laughs> at least so far. And uh, even if I versus the bigger names over here, he is still do dealing the most damage, even in these situations, so I do recommend Ulkira. Next would be in uh, Hiram Summons. I went a little bit about it in the first video regarding that I think you should go for LD. Uh, always go for food. Um, if you do get like a core duplicate, then sure, go ahead. But other than that, I don't think you really need a specific uh, unit because I haven't seen a single UR in, in there at all. But yeah, so even on boss fights, as you can see, uh, MVP, Ulkira, and uh, Rukia are almost the same amount of Jin. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's good, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, uh, I, I did a mistake, I think. Let me do that again. Alright, so, next would be what character to upgrade from each faction, I'd say. Uh, Ulkira, Mayuri and Tessai are decent on the blue blue side of things. So Tessai has a revive skill. Even though he is just an SSR, he is a very solid 9 star unit. So I would not recommend you go higher than 9 star though, because there are better units to go 10 star and above. So. 9 star is, I'd say, maximum that I would go for him. Mayuri, I could see higher. I could see him in 10 star. Uh, but I feel like there are, there are better healers than Mayuri. So I probably will not be doing that at any point. Ulkira, I think, is a solid 13 star. So yeah. The rest of them don't really have a use, in my opinion. Like, Kizuke is a nice tank. But you don't really need a tank. And Soifon is a buffer, I guess, support. But you don't really need that type of character either. So I'd say skip on the rest of them. Out of these alls, if it, let's say you're starting off very early on in the game. You're a free-to-play player. You don't have a lot of cores. You don't have a lot of SSR pluses. You, go, you can go for Tessai. You can go for Shinji. Uh, I think those both are decent units uh, early on. Uh, so, like Shinji up until 6 star, something like that, you know? You try and have your expendable units at 6 star, so to speak, because you can use those as food at a later time. So, you preferably wouldn't go above 6 star, and if you do go above 6 star, you have to bring it up until 9 star so keep that in mind uh, it will be staying with you for a while unless you pay for a rebirth or upgrade them to a 9 star to use as a food for 
like a wool cure, for example. Nine star can be any element though. So nine star food can be any single element. Uh, it's your choice. Let's see. So if we go to awaken, you see uh, nine star food. We can use Grimjaw. Or uh, well, that's kind of bad example. I don't really have a good example because both my nine stars are dark. But trust me. <laughs> Anyways, so let's move on. Uh, on the on the green side, Eisen is a solid unit. I think Rokia is also a solid unit. I had both at 10 star. They do roughly the same amount of damage in PvP, but PvE Rokia will be dealing more. While Eisen has a chance to stun so it's better for pvp so it's up to you to decide which one you go for but both are i'd say the best ones out of this bulk and uh, i've been seeing that okitake has been getting quite a lot of support uh, as in that uh, there's few people who think that he's very good i do not have experience with him so i can't really say much about him but do keep in mind that Apparently he is good. Uh, he is uh, a healer, I think, um, and a shield user. Uh, so I can see, I can see the reason why. I just don't. I think that there are better choices, though. Uh, now back to the free-to-play starting uh, situation. You just started off. You don't have a lot of SSRs, of course. Then uh, Yamada over here is a decent healer. Uh, I think he doesn't have a revive, so no wait, no he has a revive. So he and uh, Tessai both have a revive. Keep that in mind. It's actually quite useful early game. So I do recommend him. I do recommend uh, Kayan Shiba. I think I'm recommend him the least out of the three that I'm gonna recommend. And uh, Kensei is the technically second I would recommend. So. First, second, third, basically, and the rest of them, uh, these three, you ignore. Uh, Ishin, he's a tank. We don't really care about tanks here. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Uh, Unohana, I, I don't like. Uh, she has a weird skill kit. Uh, she's like a half healer, half damage dealer. We don't want that. We want a unit that focuses on one thing. Either they are support or they are DPS. So we, we're gonna ditch her out, okay? Uh, she, she's not good. You will be getting free shots of her, but I, I don't I don't think it's worth upgrading her at all. Uh, Komamura is a tank, but in a similar situation with Unohana, he also deals damage, but on his case, I feel like it's okay because he heals himself, he tanks, and he deals damage. Uh, he is a solid unit, but out of the red faction, I think Jin would be the best one uh, alongside Biakuya. Biakuya looks very bad early game. He performs horribly early game. Uh, maybe picks up a little bit at 9 star roughly there but he doesn't do well at all in my opinion so you might be discouraged to use him but i would save his dupes for the future uh it's a unit that works similarly as a uh, charlotte charlotte from uh, Adelmyth myth slash legend scrolls which is a support healer that heals every single time your unit gets a critical attack. Now that's that's huge. So what does that mean? Is that you can heal in a single turn four times. It, it might it might not sound that bad that ridiculous, but it is. It is ridiculous. He does have a lower percentage for they said heal here is 16%, but it's still huge, like absolutely massive heals. Uh, he will be your rank one healer for the longest of times uh, at the late end game, in my personal opinion, that that will be the case. Uh, 
you might see a few tier lists that has him a lot lower but I have full confidence that he will be performing amazingly later on okay let's move on Jin is a solid uh, unit he needs a little bit more support uh, his skills are kind of oriented around bleeding so it's like a tank killer bleeder uh, single target kind of type unit uh, he is a solid unit early game but I'd say you could not build him it's, it's okay to build him it's it's all right I have him at the 11 star I will probably reset him uh, to 9 star at some point and use him as food uh, for light and dark unit just waiting for the reset event honestly but yeah uh, Lisa uh, again going to the free-to-play situation you're starting off the game Lisa is amazing she is a tank yes but she is a Komamura mini Komamura she has revive she has AoE she has heals she has so the heals is the lifesteal uh, she has tank ability uh, it's she is insane early game you you should be completely fine to nine star her completely fine okay so keep that in mind that she is a solid fifth unit if you do need one um, Yachiro is a decent AOE unit uh, if you don't have a if you weren't lucky to get Lisa I'd recommend uh, Yachiro out of the SSR units and lastly Hiori would be the app the third option uh, Renji is very mediocre to bad <laughs> Ikako is also kind of bad now we move on to light units I do not recommend you go above six star at all at all if you do not spend you avoid light and dark units for the early part of the game you will keep uh, stocking stockpiling those shards of dark and light units in your bag or something you, you do not use them above six star you do not upgrade them above six star and uh, there are few exceptions Shunsui is one of the exceptions if you manage to get a lot of Shunsui then it's okay to upgrade him up because he is around the same tier as Ulkyora I'd say uh, he's a very decent magical damage dealer that has uh, stun and also vulnerability and uh, that buffs your damage which is actually quite good so yeah he's a very solid unit but if you have like Shiho, uh Yoroichi or Hachi then just just leave them be do, do not upgrade them I don't think they are worth it uh, same with the other two like six star is the maximum you go for these uh, you never go nine star fodder on a light dark unit since you can use any other element as a fodder so yeah keep that in mind do not touch any unit that's not you are in light and dark faction so yeah same thing with with dark like I said earlier so if you want to go with some of them then I'd say maybe tier uh, she is a single target damage so that that's about it uh, if you want to go light or dark get a UR first and uh, start upgrading that UR okay so yeah that's it uh, I'd say I'd say that's it <laughs> uh, hope you have a nice no wait hold on I, I need to go loop through a little bit stuff okay so another stuff another thing another thing another thing is gold so gold is the main currency in the game basically well with the Magatama but gold is something that you will need everywhere every single way so if you are free to play player uh, I don't think you should go too hard on goals like this unless there's an unless there's an event specifically for that like I think there's yeah this type of event but gold version this is uh, this uh, Unagia basically 
so you do you do the you do the <laughs> this stuff if that's the event okay you you do you go through here if you uh, if you pay to play player you just get everything every gold that you have up here because you can afford it uh, as a free to play I'd say don't unless there's an event and the uh, next thing would be quick rush quick come quick crusade yeah, yeah, yeah. quick crusade you want to do daily all of them and uh, if you are pay to play player then uh, get the quick campaign privilege and it should last you a month and uh, you should reach around level 100 and that in my opinion that should be fine uh, you don't need to get another one but if you want to you can there are some uh, game modes that has not been unlocked yet even at level 100 so yeah next thing would be to get the unagia passes privileges they are free to play players and pay to play players so basically you just spend magatamas to buy them so always get them they will pay themselves off over time uh like i i keep getting tickets like tickets is the lowest ss i'd say that you can get there there's chance where i get the magatamas so 120 with one claim so that's very good same with the tickets that's very nice uh so it allows you to summon a lot more even even though it consumes 30 magatamas each refresh is worth it like for example we got advanced raffle tickets now raffle tickets are amazing because you can get an ur in uh in this raffle as you can see so i do recommend uh going for raffle tickets uh if you do see them and uh, un unless they are they unless they cost 600 600 uh in the urahara shop this is not worth it neither is the shiny coupon for 600 both of them are fine the moment they are like 300 so i do recommend that you keep an eye out there's shiny tickets in here for 300 makatamas uh it is rare but do uh, do keep an eye out for it a uh, very important thing is shiny tickets i say always use on ld you do not touch for anything else it's not worth it uh character exchange you don't use the tickets for anything except for the urs uh so either shunsui but i, I don't think it's worth it on shunsui uh, he is kind of common at least to me uh so i would rather use on one of the three hundred star uh, hundred exchange currency ones uh, above here the 70 ones you can also get from events like uh, was it in here yeah like this so you can pick and you are from here so there's Aporo and there's Hikifune and when when you reach zero you get the character you can I'm pretty sure get it before the pity as well it's just very rare and uh, also the pity carries over to the next event so let's say i do not want hikifune and i have nine left so i just need to wait for uh tomorrow when the event ends uh, there will be a new option for different urs they are mainly just 70 these 70 urs so uh tenjiro and kirio and uh, Sero and aporo so there is a limitation to that uh I, I don't know what to talk about anymore <laughs> um if you do not need a certain unit right now like for example uh a good practice i'd say is to like for example i don't want to use sun shui as a food so i'm just gonna keep his shards in my bag until i will need his dupes otherwise it's just gonna take space from me which it which i don't have i have upgraded for a little bit but i don't want to spend too much makatamas on it so i'm just gonna keep his the rest of his dupes in my backpack until i'm able to upgrade him maybe we'll see uh but yeah okay i'm losing my voice a little bit so i think it's about oh wait hold on character convert so this here 
allows you to actually get a SSR plus from normal. So I'm going to explain to you that do not do this. Okay, this kind of lowers your chance by one. So this will convert into a random SSR, right? A five star into a five star. And now that the five star cannot be an UR, but it can be an SSR or SSR plus. I do recommend to use like a unit that's already an SSR. That way you cannot get him again here. So if you do want to use a uh, four star that has been turned into a five star uh, in this, then you should accept the next one and then keep switching. Okay. Um, maybe I can show like a demonstration. So uh, I guess I do need all cures. So I rather use uh, Hirako Shinji than use Kurosuchi, for example, right? Because I cannot like that. She is not in the pool at all to begin with. So I can get another Shinji in here instead, right? This could be Shinji and we don't want that. Those are, uh, that, that's increasing our odds on a bad unit. So we want to use already a bad unit as a base because he cannot turn into another Shinji, right? So he can into, turn into Rangiku, of course, that's fine. He can into, there it is, Ulkura. We wanted Ulkura and that's, that's great. All right, so that's very easy to get dupes for the three main elements. I do recommend using that on your must have unit like Ulkura. So yeah, to force, to kind of force his dupes. Uh, okay, it's getting a little bit long. So I think I'll be stopping this here now. Um, there's nothing, nothing much that I can say anymore. Yeah, yeah, uh, last, last, last thing, last thing. I think in every case, the, 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 every physical unit, which is warrior, they have an axe, should always have physical attack combo. Uh, every magical attack unit, they have like AP and like a weird shield looking thing. Uh, will always need a magical attack combo. So keep that in mind. Uh, in my opinion, that is the best choice. And for the healers, it would be the vitality that increases the healing and healed by output. Uh, or some other way to keep it alive for a while, like revive or dodge or something like that, you know? And um, I'd say that's about it. That uh, uh, healer, healer has like a draw blade thingy is a support uh, warrior, uh, but yeah, you you'll see if, when when you check it yourself. I'm panicking right now. Oh my god, it's taking so long for me. Okay, there it is. Tank has like a trident, yeah, healer trident. Uh, I think that's it. I think there's AP warrior support and tank. So there's four different classes. Keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, all right, cool. See you later. Bye bye. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills.